Some more done on this here, but for right now, we're gonna have a pause and a few times. Well, yeah, friends, right there is my brand new, our brand new, I band, five string bass guitar. Brand new, uh, we purchased it about two two months ago. We didn't have one in stock, so they had to send out for it and. Uh, took a slow boat to get here <laughs> a couple months later but uh, got an email last night saying that it was in so today I went down and I picked it up and um, I showed you a little bit what you can do with the five string give me an extra string at the bottom so I can go further in the basement <laughs> mm, bass guitar bottom feeders you like that bottom <laughs> get all muddy water and stuff down in there get some really blues going uh -huh. I'm not I'm not I'm working on that though we're, we're getting it we're getting it some of that stuff I take it and I slow it way down just it'll get that muddy water blues sound to it maybe uh, but what we're trying to do is find a sound for hazardous triple X the idea is that the concert and stuff and music and stuff would be the heartbeat and that would be what drives the ship um, because the cadence and stuff comes from the drummer boy which um, takes his uh, commands from the captain and he controls the ship through using the drums and um, different stuff that um, in other words, if you say for instance they go into an emergency or does something come up the command was given and then the boy, you know, for instance uh, Drummer boy, sound off. Let them know that we are. <laughs> let them know we are here. Something like that. Um, that would be like drummer boy, sound off. And then he'd start in on his cadence. Or uh, um, drummer boy, we shall beat the quarters, which means get everybody up and ready to to do battle. And, um, and then when the battle's over, and if they get into a rest mode, and it's kind of transit from one spot to another and sometimes it takes a long time at that point that's when the captain kind of steps down off the bridge his second takes over and then the drummer boy puts in a track and that keeps the ship running and then while the captain and them are that's when the boy takes his because the cat the, the drum boy is always by the captain's right side so whatever command the captain gives the drummer boy will change the cadence and that's how they drive the ship. And you say, oh, an arcade. But at the same time, if you say, oh, you can't say, no, 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 let's wheel right. And then the boy does a right angle that way. And the ship starts doing it automatically because everybody knows what to do with the angle for you to stop. As opposed to you giving an order, and that order has to be shut through the ship before it gets that. a new I-band bass. I even got a tuner. I had to tune it up. Tuned up my other... Uh, that's what this is. I shared the regular four-string bass that I bought a while back. And then we bought this one. It's the same type of guitar, but it's a five-string as opposed to a four-string. So, um, I'll be right back. We're going to have to go get feel that here in a little bit. So, I'm going to check out this video. I want to see what the guitar looks like. I'll get the special effects right yet. You see, <laughs> I've done it a couple times, so I keep forgetting I do that. And then, oh well. Uh, but that is introducing our new uh, guitar. You can hear it playing in the background here. I did a recording using OBS. Plus, I, <laughs> I have a dumb track that on the loop it never stops playing playing on through unless the laptop needs to do an update or something or shut this stuff off or something but that's what you hear is the drummer doing um i got a, a drum track running um then i got the bass track running over here and I'm, i want to see what my new our new bass guitar looks like oh, I've, I've been waiting for it like i said we ordered it i paid for it 
we bought it a couple months ago, and um, me and Phil Ed, you know, said, okay, let, we can get a guitar, and then I was able to uh, pull together some money and bought uh, uh, that five string, and when I went in to buy it, I, I saw it on in the website, and um, so I went to the store, and didn't have any in stock. But I, I like that guitar. It's it's similar to the red one I have, that um, uh, red wine color. And I said, oh, that'd be perfect with my uh, guitar collection. So I went ahead and I, I talked to the salesman. And I said, hey, I want this guitar. And he said, okay, they'll have to order it. I said, ah, that's fine, go ahead. So I paid for it, bought it, and then I went home. And then I sat here for two months waiting for my guitar. And in the meantime, I was doing other stuff. And like I said, I, I had done a clip earlier, and that was the reason for the new outfit is <laughs> create a different look for the, that new guitar. And I was figuring um, if I can use that guitar quite a bit, then I can be short sleeve and just a nice pair of slack pants, and that way I can be comfortable playing the guitar. I don't have to get myself all dressed up like I do for Poser. <laughs> But the thing with Poser is, though, that guitar looks good with that jacket. That's why I did that. That jacket was given to me by my brother-in-law. It's a cool... Well, it's got a couple of zippers that don't work. I can't wear it out in public anymore. It's just kind of... So I use it as um, a prop. I use it for uh, Poser. And, like, um, the story is with Poser, <laughs> he doesn't have to know how to play the guitar doesn't have to know how to play, he just has to look good, and we can bob in different stuff in behind and make him sound like he knows what he's doing. Um, uh, I was given that thing with the Mr. Voiceover being able to shut him off because he controls the volume. <laughs> kind of a mixing board type of thing, so if you hear or see something it's off camera and stuff, it's usually Mr. Voiceover um, and Mr. Editor going back and forth sometimes. It's just stuff I'm making up as I go. Uh, so from Phil Ed, or what? Script clip? All right. You gotta do a script clip. Okay. Script clip. Script clip. <laughs> script clip. Oh, whatever. Script or script. <laughs> Cut, print and post, put it in the can and on the shelf. From Ely Studio and Sons, Phil Ed and Old Grizz, thank you for watching, thank you for following. So far, I like the way it sounds, I like the way it feels, the strings are good, I've got a tuner, we can tune these things up now, get some decent sound out of them, wait till I tune up my acoustic and I plug that baby in, I can do some neat stuff with these bass tracks, so like I said, Phil Ed and Grizz, thank you for watching, thank you for following, I have to go get Phil Ed, she's up at Bingo, and um, I gotta check out my guitar, thank you.